live and direct from Extremely Sharp, my man Jig, my man Ken. Hey man, like I said, man, you know, if we get Floyd get caught, it's a wrap, man. You know, we get caught to the body, you know, boy hurt him, it's a wrap, man. But you know, like I said, once Floyd does his running, man, you know, he might he might prevail. Is a run or a boxing? I always wanted to know who, which one it is. Hit and run. Hit and run. Hit and run. Hit and run. It's hit and run. But ain't that the science? Hold on, I gotta ask. Can I look really and play devil's advocate? Because I somewhat agree with you, but ain't that the science that the sport was founded on? I'm just asking. I'm just asking, hey, man. Like and watch. you look up. You see what Ken? You see what he like to watch? He like to see where he should lay it all on the line. Yeah, when you put it on the line. That's yeah, I mean, Ray Leonard, he, Ray Leonard gave his body up more than 15, 15, two dollars on a picky. <laughs> Five dollars on a wet man. Hey, I had an interesting, uh, uh, I, I, they was asking me, do I think any way possible Ricky Hank can win this fight? And I said, yeah, it is a possible. Remember in Poltergeist when Carol Ann got uh, sucked in the TV screen uh, by the demons or the aliens, the supernatural, whatever they was? That's the only way Ricky Hank gonna win this fight. And all that about him breaking his hand, Mayweather, Great fighters beat one dimensional dimensional fighters with one hand. So it makes it makes it really interesting. You know, we don't know. You know, we got you know so many different opinions here. We got people that dislike Ricky, dislike Floyd so much they think Ricky gonna win. But honestly, they would pick Ricky. I wouldn't say that Ricky was a good boxer. So it's very interesting. Just a lot of people that dislike. Ricky won't you stop. can't discount an undefeated record. An under, undefeated That's fighter a good is a point. good fighter. That's a good point. You That's never point. know who's gonna show up. So if you, everyone thinks Floyd is going to show up because Floyd trains and Floyd is good, and Floyd is good. But like you said, Floyd is not great. And to be great, you got to fight great fighters. What? And Ricky Hatton is a great fighter. And we'll see. We'll see if it's going to be a walk in the park or if it's going to be like it is on paper. Everybody thinks that Floyd is going to dance around and pop, and pop Floyd. I mean, pop Hatton. How many people... Do you think have tried to really and truly knock Floyd out? You, you don't think Floyd has adapted to pressure and people being He's, relentless? That's defensive forward? fighter since Sweepy Woodard. Exactly. So my point is that two people give him problems. The second one not really, but that one. Yeah, that we know the, the most, the south. best welterweight in the Paul, world, Paul, Paul Williams. Williams. Gives him PW. And y'all can get Margarito at it. Margarito gives him problems too, but he he still may edge he out the decision. He can actually win that fight. He can win. And Kermit said trying. I'm glad we brought this up. Hold on, hold on. How we get him in the fold? You think Zab knocked Floyd down? Now, if if Floyd gets a, t a touch of Kermit's power, oh, it's stop. lights out. Let me, it's lights right, out. Let me, let me say, this is going to take one second. Kermit Central had his one time in the light. You know where he spent that night at? On the floor. That's all I got to say. Yeah. That was against Margarita. You know what? Five times. Yeah, yeah. I, Kermit Central, you know, we know here my man Big Mike. Big Mike, you passionate. It's my big brother here. I like punchers. I like knockout artists. Forget boxing. I like fighters who come in and get the job done within five rounds. That's what I like. All right, but I'm going to tell you this right now. You know, the one thing the one thing I can really say. Who said Gerald McCullough? I said Gerald McCullough. He said Gerald McCullough. He liked punching. I told him. Julian my Jackson. My man is G-Man. Y'all remember Jackson. Julian Jackson from back in the day. What? Bam. You see when he fought Terry Norris. Terry Norris was digging in his butt. It took Terry one Norris was punch. a bum. One punch. And that was it. Remember he Terry Norris? The, he like ran that. in the middle way when nobody asleep. was down there. He put him to sleep with one yeah. punch. You yeah. know what? Floyd put the pajamas on, cats. All right. We don't put we all over the place, as you can see. Can I say something here? Let me say something about, about Kermit Citron. The only way, the only way Kermit Citron is gonna beat Floyd is if he cries and Floyd slips on the tears. Hold on, give me a look, 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 let me get, let me, let me do a reenactment of Kermit Centron like they do on them documentaries. Oh, you, yo, you alright, man? <laughs> no, sir, you had a bruised head, all, homie. First of all, a bruised head. After Stop that, that, after the fight, I talked to not not that fight, but the fight with Mark Rito. Please, Seattle, pull up Junior Welterweight. I talked to Kermit rate. personally. Cool that out. I talked to him at Donny Park. Kermit <laughs> said he had the flu. <laughs> I this, love, it. I love Big Mike, man. Kermit Centron said he had the flu when he fought Margarito. <laughs> Hold up, we talking about Kermit's last <laughs> fight, right? Did Kermit stop him? Michael hold Jordan! Up, hold up, did Kermit, he scored 35! Did, hold up, did Kermit stop him or not? Yes or no? Stop who? The last fight. Who? That dude you couldn't pick out of the crime line up law and order SVU. I don't know. That's not that. scripted, that's real. <laughs> okay. Don't okay. tell me about the last dude okay. for a blown up I junior welterweight who he struggled with. I got big hopes for I got big hopes for okay. Kermit because I like knockout artists. That's what Big Mike likes. We're staying, we we getting out of tap. We got one on, top here. No, he, I just want to know who won the fight between me and your old barber. I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I,
know that. <laughs> yeah, let's get back to the, 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 the subject in here. We got a little off base here. The bottom line, like Floyd Mayweather said, yeah, Ricky Hatton got an undefeated record. Yeah, he 43 and whatever he is. But if he fought Floyd Mayweather 43 times, he'd be 0 and 43. Because he ain't fight nobody nowhere near to the talents that Floyd Mayweather bring in the ring. See, let me tell y'all something, what I made a mistake and did. I used to hate on Michael Jordan. And sleep here, he used to always tell me, you watching greatness, you better respect this. And now I, I, I regret me not indulging into his greatness. Y'all better just uh, accept this man for what he is. I know he, he could be a bit uh, 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 brash and all, 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 all centered with his flashing and all that. But the bottom line is this, man. When it comes to his craft, you take it serious. How much on the shoes? How much on the shoes? How much on the shirt? What about the glasses? Yo, th this fight is, is, is going to be a, a great fight. I think a lot of people are sleeping on the, on the drama that the fight might have. Because we all forget... We all forget the Britain, the, the the British bulldog Ricky Hatton. Is, is, is all his one of his favorite quotes is it's not a tickling conscience in there. So he gonna get dirty. He gonna get dirty. Before he get dirty, day, I'm, 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 well, he might. But all he, I'm saying dirty. is he don't get that dirty. He don't get that dirty. You know, you gotta watch out for the head buzz. You gotta watch. That's out. a shame that we gotta we. Floyd is so much better than this dude that we gotta rely on the stuff that's technically actually not allowed in boxing to give him a shot to win. Like I said when I first jumped on this thing here, I don't really have a whole lot. You see my man, look how he lounging. That's what's up, you try to get Ricky the benefit of the doubt. But I know this dude. <laughs> we already talked about it. It's a one-dimensional, uh, it's a, uh, a one-way street, and that's Floyd Mayweather. Ricky hadn't come in the wrong way. But that's all I got to say. If this is mixed martial arts, who will win that? I don't, talk, I, I don't talk about this sport. Don't ask me. Let me tell you this, yeah, another yeah, thing. You know, you know the one that one, yeah. one thing other people are taking out of consideration, that crowd is going to piss Floyd yes. off. The, the whole oh place is going to be you for know Ricky. Yeah, you're you going to see the Brits is coming. You're going to see the Brits are coming. Let me tell y'all something. And a band too. Mark my oh, yeah, words. Too. You're going to see a nasty Floyd Mayweather. Well, you know, Floyd, you're going to see a nasty Floyd Mayweather. Floyd thrives on that. Is it Diego Corrales and Floyd Mayweather? You're going to see like you was. Is it Floyd Mayweather? Is it Floyd Mayweather? You're going to see the nasty Floyd when he's talking. When he's talking, and it's nasty Floyd Floyd when he's talking. When he's talking, it is. Three power punches in a row. You want to see that for? Because he's gonna be pissed he off. He's gonna be in the middle of the. Talk about how he's going. See, everybody think he's gonna be on a rope. Shoulder rolling. He, Ricky Hatton he's is so slow as a rope, fighter. Shoulder rolling. He's gonna be in the rank countering the death no, out of Ricky. He's Hatton. gonna be on. I'm a, he's gonna you, be on the ropes all day hey, long. I'm gonna like say something. That's a hell of a gift yeah, if you yeah, can do that and yeah, not get hit. Cause yeah. you, you know, guard your grill boxing is not guard your grill boxing without a hip hop quotable. What's up? Hey, what's the hip hop quotable? So he shook. Cause ain't no such thing as halfway crooks.